All right, Johan, thanks again for doing this. Thank um, you. We're going to be taking some uh, taking a look at some images and video of your museum exhibition. And um, can you give the audience a bit of information as to where they can see it and uh, how long it's open for? Yes. So it's a show called For, for Love Snake. Or normally we say for love's sake, but it's written with a little small n upside that makes that you can read it also for love snake. It happens in the uh, Royal uh, Museum of uh, Belgium, but which is in Brussels. It's a four months long show. It started two months ago, and it's uh, it will remain until twenty uh, third of july but i think it's going to be extended for a month so until end august oh wow and congratulations yes. um and so yeah and i have two two nice rooms middle in the old masters museum uh because it's a museum which is composed of of different museums one of them is the old masters part and the show is in the middle of those Amazing. Amazing. Well, let's take a look at some of the uh, images that you sent over. Okay. So yes. can you describe what is going on here? Is this the yes. entryway? So, yes. So you can see the, the on the both parts, left and right of, of, of the entering of the first part of the first room, you are in the middle of the old collection of the old the, the collection of the old masters so you have to go from the ground it's on the first floor uh you are in the middle of um, dutch masters flemish masters ribbons etc etc and then in the middle you have this room which is the entry of yeah of the the first part which is made of drawing and sculptures this is it yeah wow All right incredible and so you have to to go through the old. You really have to to go past the old masters. It's not just one image or two. You have really to walk around and and to cross the the, the old masters collection before entering this room. Yeah. Okay. And then so we enter the room, and then these are some of your sculptures and some of the black and white drawings that you've done. Yes. Yes. So it's the first time I show those uh, sculptures, and it's the first time I show most of those uh, drawings. Why? Because it was, I always had the idea to be able, I, I wanted these other conditions, I wanted to show them. And so I had the opportunity to do it here. So it was quite fantastic because I think there's really a link between the sculptures and the drawings. You can see it here because um the sculptures are made in clay and they are when once they are dry they are recovered with um, um epoxy resina which enters the clay again and then it's tinted in white and it gives this this quite uh, uh nice aspect yeah I can the drawings tell. are the drawings are quite big um, they were made in 2019-20, and the sculptures are a bit, little bit older from 2014 and 15. Um, I love the sculptures and I love the drawings. I was mm -hmm. going to actually ask you about the sculptures. When did mm -hmm. you start? When did you start sculpting? Uh, I I always have been some small pieces, but then I had in the 2012, 13, 14, 15, I had a big studio in uh, close to my house, which was a big studio for painting. Then I had a big studio for sculptures. Mm -hmm. uh, then unfortunately, I was you know we had to 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 leave the. The buildings because they were going to be destroyed but i well i i worked on my sculptures three years long now um i didn't work on the sculptures anymore because i didn't really have a place but they are yeah i made quite a lot wow yeah and so i'm just going to kind of freehand this here and since yeah. we're talking about this room in particular i think that we can stay here with the images so yeah. um I'm just going to go down the line. So 
can you describe i'm I'm just going to kind of scroll through the images and maybe you can just kind of talk about like this room in general. Yes. Yeah. So the idea of, of the show was divided in two parts. The show is called, of course, it's the name of the show is uh, for love's sake snake. And it's a, uh, a project of the museum, which is called remedies. The idea of the museum is to bring Belgian Brussels artists and they ask them Two things is the first one is to get in dialogue with the old marshes, and the second part is try to present art as a remedies for the society. So we have decided we have divided the show here with the curator in two parts. One is the idea is to say we live in a black and white world, which is maybe darkness. And on the other side, the paintings are you will see discover are more colored. And the idea is say the two words. Darkness and joy or light are close to each other. And in ourselves, inside, also we have sometimes black or dark ideas and sometimes uh, beautiful and more joyful ideas. So this is the room more black and white, the idea that it's more about what's happening inside the human being because it's all about humanity. It's really all the drawings are made without really thinking about it and the yeah. sculpture also when i start i don't know what i'm going to do sometimes of course when you have a big drawing it takes time but still it's not it's not elaborated with sketches or studies or any anything of this kind it's it just made what a on a spontan how do you say that on an instinctive way yeah spontaneously uh, of, of course yeah, of course, a big drawing like the one on the left side, which is 11 meters big. It's uh, this one uh, on the left or the right side. This yeah. one. Yeah, no, the other one. Well, but it's 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 for yeah. This one is 11 meters long. So of this course one? it's uh, instinct oh, wow. eight, but it takes quite a long time. So oh, it's well, I I didn't I didn't recognize that this is a 11 meter long. Yes. drawing i i thought this was separate pieces but it's all no, one no it's one drawing. roll of paper it's an 11 long roll of paper of course the, the drawing itself is a little bit debated in and and it comes also because i have been drawing this in my bedroom or uh -huh. one of my bedrooms it's not made on the wall which was that big so i had to make the first part yes this one on the left and then I had to roll up and push it on the left side and then make the second part, the third part, et cetera, et cetera. Wow. So uh, for me, it's more like a meditation or a ballad. So mm -hmm. when you when you make a drawing like that, at the end, you don't really remember at the end what you did at the beginning. So I first realized I have an interpretation of what it means or what it can be. But once it was... I have seen it in one part, you know, and it's made only with one one kind of pencil. It's the same pencil. It's not uh, different ones. It's just one. And oh, it's incredible. And the drawing is made, in fact, on the long. This this paper is used by the photographers at the back of the studio to make the, you know, the back of this when they make pictures. Ah, so it's, it's, so a it's very, really strong. Yeah, it's a strong and very good paper to to draw on it. Yeah, I was gonna ask like how you yeah. keep a piece of paper intact like this. I could imagine yeah. it might be a nightmare to. Uh... Well, uh, you, yeah, you just have to protect it at the back. So on on the sides, on the four sides of uh, on the back, there is a kind of a uh, mm -hmm. scotch uh, that maintains the paper correctly. Otherwise, it could be it would just yeah. tear. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow, that's a really incredible piece. And what about so, yeah, and <laughs> this one on the other side is uh, uh -huh. because the left one is about I think, our... I think we have a better do we have a better photo here of this? Let's see. Maybe a clearer one. Hmm. This one? Yes. This one is made of five panels mm. board on board. And they are put on on wood afterwards, but it's uh, and I I tell to the people that this this is the same story than the other one just in front, but it's just made on another way of doing. Mm. So it's a uh, 
because the idea of humanity of the people as we said um, yeah we are all the same it's not because you are african or asia or european or i don't know you are different we are all same it's just the way of express yourself the the, the codes to, to to put it together are different but you can read it on the same way yeah uh, and I it's like also that. made on an unconscious way so it's full i think the work and this is for all the works that you can see it's more about symbolic so you can give quite a lot of interpretations about those the, the those drawings and and the symbols mm -hmm. that you can find inside and there are quite a lot so it takes definitely. time to, to look at it definitely and then here's another angle of the yep. piece that was on the left no yep. um, for the audience to take mm -hmm. a look at okay so let's see where do we begin maybe we begin over at this photo like mm -hmm. in this yeah. this is the entry in uh, I, i'm assuming is this the entry into the color portion it's not really the entry but it's uh -huh. present in this room because there are different entries possible normally because the rooms are you have a circulation where you can enter by this way but it's better to enter first of all by the black and white room so i um, see is there um let's see so this is the entry into the black and right white room and then you know, let's mm -hmm. just scroll through these yeah rooms. here you have left you have yes this is the entry door of the when you come from the black and white room yeah nice wow so it's really suddenly you you really enter in a total different world and so people are quite surprised when they enter because yeah, yeah. wow it's gorgeous mm. i'm just kind of like surveying it oh and i see and then the, on yeah you see yeah there, this is just another entry yeah. point yeah. i see i see very cool then... so you can walk yes through through the museum and um you can enter this is another entry for to then you go right and you have the room but it's really it just to show that you are really in an you know the idea of a museum you always have the idea there is something old in the museum yeah uh, i see in the old museums because you old have a lot colors. of new ones which are more architectural design by by big architects but the old museums are a little bit like yeah you have a really nice atmosphere in it and i, love I see it. no i like that yeah i like these old sort of like grecian yes. looking yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. pillars uh, let's see. So I'm going to just kind of scroll through some of these and maybe you just okay. let me know where to stop. Yeah, yeah. So you have this, these ones. Uh -huh. Yes, you have different. In fact, all those works are made uh, after the, or during or after the COVID. So for the people who know my work, uh, I will i'm i'm known for the faces i'm making so you can see here that it is something completely different it's all about nature and more about traveling outside in the outside mm -hmm. now these are all well it's close to abstract and landscape so it's about both of them but uh also it's once again it's made on the same way it's just about memories of things and feelings and energy there's no study no copy no research of about of landscapes i've i've seen it's mm. all about imaginary landscapes yeah so this and is I, a different yeah. angle yes what's going on down here in fact you have two rooms so this is the ground floor uh -huh. and uh, you have they are not directly connected it's only to have the light coming from the roof that you see here upstairs mm. so it's another room downstairs normally i was supposed to have this room but the museum is having a lot of uh, works construction and renovation works so I see. finally i have the room on the other side and it's much better because otherwise you would have you should have 
done a lot of traveling before arriving in this room. So, and the connection wouldn't have been as good. So mm -hmm. this is one of another room, one of the big rooms uh, downstairs of the museum. Yeah. I see. Well, happy, I'm... happy accident. <laughs> yes, happy accident. Exactly. Yeah. And this this room is quite nice because it's almost square. The, mm -hmm. Of course, the museum the the walls are quite high. Um, they are six meters high, and this gives, of course, a, a certain yeah a special atmosphere when you put the when you have big walls. Also in the museum, you can put the, the paintings a little bit higher, which gives them another approach, and you can look at it on a better way. But it's a really a nice atmosphere. There is some a little music because I had made two small videos about works, and which is behind the wall that you see on the left side, on the right side. And uh, you have some beautiful music. And the people who enter, they often stay for half an hour, sometimes an hour, because they enter a kind of meditation. It's the it's the effect. It's what they feel. They that's what what they tell me. It's a kind of they just want to sit down. That's why we put those kind of uh, banquets. Blank, how do you say that? Those um, where you can uh, sit. Maybe those the seat the seats or yeah the seats. Uh -huh. We have put the seats because the people really like to sit down and have a look. Mm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Just kind of scrolling through the other images here. Mm -hmm. So yes. all the paintings are made, they are all painted with ink. This I didn't change. I always have been painting with ink. Yeah. Um, and there are some are on board and some are on canvas. And the lights, the, the, the colors are used also um, for etching. Mm. Um, I remember... Printing. And yeah. Printing. So um, no, I me I remember well, talking about that with you yeah. before, about like that, the yeah. using ink as opposed to like using oil paint or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So of course it's it's always very hard to 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 have the. When when did you do this sculpture? <laughs> in another life, in another life. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. My life, my life before. <laughs> I had to continue and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't exactly. finished. Exactly. Man, I love I love the uh the colors are so vibrant. Yes. I'd love to see this in person. How big are these? This is one, I don't know in inches, but it's one eighty well, in, so one hundred and eighty centimeters. centimeters. Yeah, on one on one hundred and thirty wide. Uh-huh. So it's uh, once again, it's quite hard to have the the the, the correct feeling about the, the dimension, but uh, because you have the big wall, but when you put when you take pictures with people standing and looking, you see you have the better impression. Yeah. Magnificent. Mm -hmm. Well, cool. Okay, so let's. Um, I'm gonna stop sharing the screen, and I'm going to open up some of these videos. Let's see. Let's try this one first. So I'm assuming this is the black and white room. Yes, there are some uh, black and white paintings. These are the first one we saw. The first work was a painting, which was were made in 2016. Mm -hmm. But it belongs well to these, this black and white world. It's. Uh, I like that. Yeah, I really like that painting. And you see there, you can see. So it's just close to the ribbons room. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's quite fantastic, of course, to have when the people enter from this other room, from the mm -hmm. ribbons room. And they this room? This room. It's it's quite amazing for them. But they don't really understand what's happening. But, uh, but then it happens. <laughs> nice. And I find it really interesting for the museum because the museum... The idea of the museum is to tell people by showing contemporary art is to bring a new view on the older works. So people, when, when they have crossed the, the contemporary, my show, they go back to see the old masters and they have another 
way to another approach to the works. And that's the idea of the museum. It's to make it become something new or the, the uh -huh. way of looking at them, it's, it becomes different, mm. the approach. Yeah, I like the juxtaposition of of that, mm -hmm. you know, the contemporary work and, I mean, your work. And um, I, man, I would love to just go and, and be able to see this in person. <laughs> Um, yes, because it's really an experience. You have to you have to stand in front of the works and to be in the atmosphere because architecture is important. So the size of the rooms and what happens inside is is really quite amazing. I love this sculpture the right time, here too. Yes, the first time I had brought the sculpture to to see the place it took in the room, it was really an amazing experience when you put a sculpture in, in the museum, it, it suddenly becomes something completely different than uh, what I was used to see or understand. It, it becomes something different. So um, mm -hmm. it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let me um, bring up the next video. Okay, this is of the main room, or I mean the black and white room. Yeah. Piece you were talking about earlier. Yeah. And it's nice to have all those sculptures, not too much, just enough, just, just to bring the idea of, of, yeah, they are coming out of the drawings. Yeah. And it's kind of same, same family of, of, uh, and so you can go from 2D to 3D. It's, it's quite interesting. Yeah, your sculptures are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I really like them. Let's see. The next one. Oh, okay. So this is the room that you're talking about. Yes. Right? That is just beyond yep. that door. Yes. To the right, I believe. Yep. Um, from where we were talking about before. Yep. Well, yeah, look at all that detail. So speaking of time, like we did on the podcast, how long did it take you <laughs> to do that? <laughs> now we can talk about few lives because voila, now it takes, you know, it's it's so pleasant to do that because it's uh, the idea is when you arrive to the studio and then you enter the room, you enter uh -huh. the studio, you are suddenly, and when you know that you are going this world, you are going to follow and 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 make it further. It, it's just the impression that you just have to enter the mood, and you, you can find it in in a second. And so it's really for me, it's really meditation. But I like the idea of because I I say it looks more like a African uh, subject and. I told you I was born in Africa. I don't remember nothing. So maybe it's you're what born in the Congo, right? Yes, I'm born in Congo, and I left when I was 11 months old. So I have no no idea what happens. But maybe this is what happened, because if you go back without thinking, uh, voila, it's. Uh, but that, therefore, I need a psychanalyst this to make it for me. I cannot make it myself. He has to go and try to find. And understand maybe. Hmm. Bring up the next video. Let's see. Bear with me. Typical <laughs> stuff. Yeah, well, uh, you see, this is the other side because you have the forum there downstairs. It's the big forum where you enter the museum, and then you go the stairs upstairs, and then. You walk around, all around, you have the old masters. Wow. So it's quite fantastic. Yeah. And you suddenly discover that there is a link in the time between all those masters and even with what happens today. There is, it's it's still the same, it's still the same story. And that's amazing. Yeah. You have a very... Um signature 
way yeah. of of creating faces yes. i feel lucky to have you gifted me a couple of your mm -hmm. small drawings yes. a long yes. time ago mm -hmm. and um yeah and no, i yes. feel i feel lucky to have to have those <laughs> and i have been drawing because people often say it well they ask right. me if it is a self-portrait but uh it's the same face I'm, I'm I'm drawing since I'm young, so it's quite strange. I wonder if there. Do you think that it has any ancestral roots? Uh, I don't know. Um, I always say I don't want to know why I do that because otherwise, once I know it, I won't. Then you draw won't do anymore. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let it remain a mystery. Yes. Yes. How long does it? Sorry, I don't know why I keep on asking about that. I was going to say, how long did? How, well, <laughs> I was going to say generally, how long does it does it take you to do a sculpture? But perhaps that's not the right question to ask. Um. Well, it's, you know the 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 advantage of clay is that you can work it on it as long as you want. Mm, drawing also with a pencil but not the painting so um sculpture i would if we talk about time i would say it goes quickly so i don't give yeah. the notion exactly the big drawings is slowly um sculptures is yeah not too slow not too fast uh -huh. and paintings are more well, not on canvas. On canvas, it takes time, but on on board, it goes quite quite quick. Mm -hmm. See, this is another angle of the room. Yeah. Slow. Panning. But I, idea is, yeah. yeah, you really go. You, it's a, it's really a ballad for the people because if you had only drawings, it would be totally different. Now there is the the fact of. Well, it's well known. The sculptures give another impression in the room, of course. They and definitely so people, do. People are, are a little bit surrounded. They have the impression that there are some people around. So yeah. quite interesting. I like the placement of these too. Yeah. Let's see. So why don't we make our way into... The other room. Let's see. Let me just get a. Actually, there's this cool. I like this video of the of a the sculpture up, up close. Oh yeah. yeah. And you can find in the museum you have uh, some sculptures which are made not the big one that we saw in the other room but you have some faces or yeah mm. it's, but made in stone in marble and uh, so that's why when people enter they don't understand really they try to they find out wh what is it is it an old king or an old thing and it, it's not so and the fact that they are white disturbs a little bit the, their reaction because they think it's it's something old and then they see it's not and then they understand and then they read the paper and then 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 voila. <laughs> but it's a, it's a soft way i think to to introduce contemporary art even even if the notion for me today of contemporary only means that it's made today that yeah. the, the idea of contemporary art doesn't mean really something special mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's interesting how um a lot of the times i feel like people need or want to have a context to understand yeah. like the time period and yeah you know is the artist alive still and yes I mean, because this is, of course, is one of the privilege to be there. And, uh, and that's the beauty of the museum shows that they allowed living alive, living people, artists to, to, yeah, who are still alive to be able to show their work. So that's, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see. Okay, so we're going to make our way into the other room. We'll do a, just a couple more video or yeah, I guess a couple more videos left. Um let's see. There's your sculpture from the past life. Yes. <laughs> But you know, it's 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 amazing because you have some signs when you see the painting just in front of that, which is called Adam and Eve. So a little mm -hmm. bit the origin of the world, and you see this. It there is really a dialogue between those pieces. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Wow, what a fantastic piece! Yeah. And those That's... are. All quite quite big because there are it's double panel so it's this is two meter sixty wow on the on the meter eighty so it's quite big wow and the others are three meters or two meters so uh -huh. let's see here's a here's a pan out or pan in pan out I think of oh yeah yeah your... mm -hmm. So this is painted on on canvas, and you don't see the, really the details. But when you go closer and to the painting, I had made those paintings with the idea of making something like old paintings, and you have how do you say that cracking the, the, a false idea of of um, you know when you have the old paintings. The, the the layers when they are so dry it's how you say cracking or oh yeah yeah, yeah. cracking uh-huh and i made false ones i i have i've drawn them uh -huh. you cannot see them when you are far but when you are close you can see them so well this is as close as to the painting yeah, that we yeah. can get uh -huh. i love seeing like cracked oil paintings yeah you can you can it kind of gives you a sense of the time and interesting what made you want to make this piece in particular why is that the question i didn't know. what did you say yeah i said what made you want to make this piece in particular oh, i i think it's uh it's about the origin of, uh, you know, it's a subject that a lot of painters have been painting, the origin of the world, the famous one is Courbet, but uh, mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, well, I I made the first one was Eve, and then I made Adam, and I think it's more, yeah, when you see the big drawing, there is also something talking about the origin of life and the idea of if we want life to continue, you need, well, uh, a, a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. So so that's the beginning. And once again, I think it's a kind of basis where everything is needed, very simple, and it starts and we are all the same. Yeah. Um, today, it's a little bit more complicated, seems to. And, uh, so it's interesting to have this kind of uh, interrogation. Uh, I think yeah. it's, uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so there's one more video, and I, I think it's the, let's see. Uh, okay, here it is. Lots of details in there. Yes, a lot. Looks like flowers. Yes. So it's light. a way of uh, presenting. Well, it's it's everything is linked. Linked. I mean, nature and human beings are linked, and um, we we have to live with nature, and nature lives with with human beings too. So. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I like, especially for these pieces, to be able to see, like, the details. Yes, yes, you have really to stand in front of it, because the light is, of course, difficult to, to make it, to put it on a film. Well, this kind yeah. of films, which are not 100% professional, so... 
Yeah. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah. yeah, I think and it's it's interesting because uh, at at the first beginning, uh, when we started putting the the show, I said uh, these those two pieces are the only ones I really want to have on the show. The rest you can change if you want, but those for. And then someone said, but you know, listen, you have to be aware that the museum, there is a lot of uh, young school pupils coming to visit, meaning five years, six years. And so maybe it's a bit difficult. And I said, no, I think it's just, that's a good reason to put them. And and it brings a lot of interest from from for the school teachers, from from parents, from because I think it's uh, it's a subject which is so important, but it's presented on a, on a, voila. Mm -hmm. It's not an aggressive uh, way of bringing things to the younger people. So, and of course the parents have- And it's only natural. And I think it's important for the parents to, to, to talk, to be able to talk about it. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I agree. Yeah. It's, um, it's interesting how there are certain things that are, viewed to being taboo but it's literally yeah. the origin of humanity yeah. but if you see this one alone you cannot really imagine it's because you have the other one mm -hmm. uh, that you can see that they go together but um, of course well johan thanks for doing this yeah, yeah. thank you for inviting me and uh Anytime. Next time you no excuse. You will have to be there for the opening. Huh? I know. I know. <laughs> I'll have to. I'll have to go out to. Um... But the problem is that the next one is a museum. I. I am afraid I it will be in two hundred years. Huh? So maybe with the intelligence, the artificial intelligence, you really have found the solution. But yeah. I won't be there anymore. But who knows? Would you? <laughs> would you? If If you had the option of living two hundred years, would you want to? No. Me either. No. <laughs> I think that kind of sounds like a nightmare. Like I, th I think of, um, and I'll just kind of like leave leave our conversation with this. But <laughs> yes, you know, um, the idea of just like, uh, uh, what's it called? Like, um, you know, like being a vampire and you know living yes. to through yeah, eternity. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like that's more of a curse. You know, yes. having mm -hmm. to like live for so long and yeah, yeah i think there's a beauty to like having the birth and the death not, and the cornerstones of life yeah. you know yeah not knowing when it's going to finish and that's the beauty so mm -hmm. you have to appreciate every moment as we say but uh yeah that's i the, agree and maybe after that once you are i don't know where we arrive maybe it's even better than here so mm -hmm. Why should we stay so long here? Over yeah, here? <laughs> that's true. That's true. Let's see. Let's see. Wait we'll, and see. We, we'll see. We'll see. Eventually, <laughs> we will see. Uh -huh. All right, Johan. Okay. Thank you so much, Yoshino. Yeah. Thank you, and and every everyone yeah. that's everyone that's watching this video, um, there we're gonna have, uh, or we just recorded a audio version, uh, mm -hmm. that is about an hour and a half long that can be on the podcast um through spotify or artistdakota.com so everyone should check that out um but yes anyways johan thank you appreciate you thank you very much bye bye right. until next bye. time bye, bye.